Hey guys, what it is, Mikey. So, I think it's kind of interesting now that I did the topic I did yesterday of cycling and mental illness. I told you guys I can ultra rapid cycle within hours. Well, I did it within a day this time. I was high as a kite yesterday. Did a little what it is, what it is, what it always is. But it's going to be what it was tomorrow, you know. And I did that whole thing, gig, another one of those yesterday at presentation time because I was so hyper. And today I'm down. So I am cycling down today. And it's really interesting when you cycle down as a mentally ill person, and I'll talk about bipolar because that's, you know, I got a lot in the stew, but I think that's the main thing. When, when you're up, I mean, you know, I'm not gonna say mentally ill people, like a lot of us anyway, ever really feel up like natural up <laughs> besides the manic up um i think you can feel good and somewhat happy and maybe happy i don't know i was trying to think of the other day the last time i was really happy and i couldn't think of it not for an extended period of time but anyway when you're up you're you're doing okay. You're living, you're getting your stuff done, you got some energy, you're having some manic spikes maybe, and acting like a kid or whatever. But when you're down, it's the exact opposite. You like have no energy. All your hopes and you know, things for the world are just not there. And I'll tell you guys, I did something today I just should never do. I just, I don't know why I do. I went on to yahoo.com and looked at all the depressing crap on there and on Twitter and all the depressing crap on there. And oh my lordy, that stuff by the minute drains the life right out of me. I don't know about any of you, but all the negativity toward everything. And I start wondering in my brain, is there any good people out there in the freaking world? Now, I know that the news media likes to keep us down. And that way we're subject to the man, whatever that means. But it's been proven that most news stories are meant to keep us down and feeling sad and low. And it works on me to a T. I seriously, guys, seriously, I read that crap, I looked at pictures and all that, I watched some video. I got more damn depressed by the minute. I'm just being dead straight. It seems like every actor in Hollywood is just a piece of crap. Like, and I guess this is a telling it what it is day. And you got to remember, this is my opinions. I like people to comment, tell me what they think. If I upset you, you know, you give me a damn vote or whatever. I don't really care today, especially. Um, but it just seems like nobody in the public eye has a damn clue about what they're doing. Like, the politics are just out of freaking control on all hands. I mean, it's all just, it's all just chaos. This world right now is just a freaking disaster. I mean, I think it's so funny that, like, you go down a page on, say, Yahoo, you'll see one uplifting story about somebody that actually did something 
good for somebody else, a good Samaritan type deed. And then you'll see 19 stories of just crap. And it's so tiring and I don't know why I do it. Because all it does is bring me down more and more. I guess I think, you know, Mike, you better keep up on world situations and what's going on and all that crap. And these Kardashians and the Jenners and freaking all this Trump crap and Obama and oh my gosh, it's so freaking old. So old. Sometimes I sit here and I think, how can I even, like, I used to be able to just separate, like, music and, like, movies from the performers. I used to be able to say, okay, that's not the real them. But more and more these days, I am associating the two and I'm finding I'm not really that interested in a lot of music and a lot of movies anymore because I can't stand the freaking people that are making them. And I didn't know how this was going to turn into a tirade, but that's the beauty of YouTube. You could do whatever the frick you want within reason. And I'm telling you guys, I am just sick and tired. My two favorite actors from the 2000s on, let's just put it this way. My two favorite actors were Jim Carrey and Johnny Depp. What a couple pieces of trash. So, man. One dude, I mean, he might have contributed to his freaking girlfriend's suicide, and he's got all these whacked out ideologies, and the other guy is freaking beating on his ex-wife and trying to keep her from getting her share, and oh my crap, guys. I don't know. I am seriously, and I said this before back when I changed my channel, I am seriously giving up on this world. I am so done with all the BS. I'm starting to think maybe I better just go freaking hide in a rabbit hole somewhere or something because I can't take all this pressure. And the sad thing is, it's only getting worse. Let me know what you think all this. Like I said, I didn't think I was going off on this direction today, but it is what it is, and it is what it was now. So let me know what you think in the comment. I like the likes, the subs, the shares, and all that, but I love the comments. So, all right, guys. That's a lot of information for you. But to uh, tie a bow on this sucker, I am just down today. I'm feeling low. I don't really feel a lot of hope for anything. And if that ain't Halloweeny, I don't know what is. Okay, ciao.